Avondale Speedway, but not to drive this time. I'm not even sure if you can hear me, so I'll catch up with you guys when we get there. We have made it out to Z Day, Irwindale Speedway. A huge shout out to SoCal Z, they're the ones who invited me out. And not only did they invite me out, they put my car right next to the stage in the middle of the show. Let me show you guys the setup. Things are just getting started here. People are starting to roll in. I think the show starts in about an hour or so. I've never filmed a car show. I really haven't even been to a car show in years. So it's cool to be here. It definitely brings me back to my roots. This was kind of what got me into the scene. It's going to car shows, meeting people, different things like that. So it's cool to kind of go full circle, bring the drift car out to a car show. And while it's a far cry from an actual show car, it's still an honor to be here. Thank you to SoCalZ. I'll put their info down below. Whether you have a Z or not, they're definitely worth a follow. They throw some pretty cool events and are just a real big name in the Z, G, kind of Nissan world. That Burgundy Z is so cool. If you guys follow Zs, especially in Japan, you know Garage Mac makes some of the coolest aero for time attack Zs. That's what that thing was outfitted with. I've never seen it in the States, so it was really cool. It's kind of hard to film here, uh, at least, and talk, because it's super loud. They got a DJ right next to my car. There's drag racing going on over here, and I think they're gonna do a little burnout box too, so I'll get some footage of that. Definitely a fun event. It's totally different than being at a drift event. It's kind of cool just to sit back, relax, enjoy some cars. The weather is beautiful. There's a lot of cool vendors out here. So definitely having fun. Again, a big thanks to SoCal C for having me out.
just got in line to the little burnout box thing they have it's bigger than I thought so I'm hoping I can shift up into second but I'm not sure I asked if we can run tandems because there's a at least one dude who knows how to drift here and they said no <laughs> so it'll just be me out there but it should still be some fun and there's a pretty decent crowd that hopefully I can put a show on for <laughs> First time driving in an actual burnout box and that it was hectic but it was really fun I did my best to stay in second for pretty much the whole thing and when you're in second getting close to the rev limit or getting a bunch of wheel speed you the car gains a lot of speed really quick and those walls run up on you super fast it was definitely a fun experience I've never done driving like that before it was kind of fun just to have no real place to go and just kind of make up my own lines and I did a lot of left foot braking like on the wall. I'm actually surprised it didn't hit the wall, but either way, it was really fun. I hope somebody got some footage of me. Definitely not great scaled driving or really cool drifting or anything, but sometimes it's fun just to get out and burn some rubber. sure need a K truck at some point. That is like the coolest little pit vehicle. Definitely not something you see every day. A Z32 with a S13 full front subframe and suspension, tube front and a removable front clip, all with a turbo VG. Strange setup, but it's pretty cool. I would love to know if he actually drifts it like this because it definitely looks like it's set up for it. It's cool to see some different stuff like that out here. Categories as well. Um, with that being said, I'm going to introduce some of the guys from uh, Group Z. Has anybody ever heard of Zcon before? Right, we're going to go with uh, Julio Mendoza. Julio, we got Julio. Trying to figure that out. Just left Urbandale Speedway, stopping at the gas station before I head home. That was a really fun event. Definitely a change of pace for what I'm used to at all the drift events. Like I said, it was nice to just kind of relax, sit back, enjoy the show. There was a lot of really cool cars to see. And it was fun that I got to jump in the burnout box, do a few laps. Again, a really big shout out to SoCal Z. He invited me out there to be a guest. He even went as far as putting my car right next to the stage. That was super cool. I really felt like I was part of the show. 
and a lot of people were hyped to see the Z. It was kind of funny, in my opinion, to have this thing next to a bunch of really nice show cars. It really shows just how beat up this thing is, but at least it's from use. And I think a lot of the people that liked the car knew that, and that's why they liked it. So if you guys saw me out there, drop a comment down below. I know I met a lot of people, I handed out a lot of stickers, and, it, and it's always cool to interact with anybody who gets hyped over the car or just wants to come by and say what's up. So if you do ever see me out anywhere, for sure come by. I almost always have stickers, I'm happy to give them out. Anyways guys, that's enough chit chat. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was definitely a little bit different to film a car show, but like I said, I enjoyed it. So hopefully you did too. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and of course I'll catch you in the next one.